Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, you're watching AIM Network, where the world's biggest headlines scroll below and deeper conversations and questions rise above. And today, we will be shedding light on a major shift in India's financial and AI story. Perplexity. The AI answer engine and browser now serves live BSC, NSC market data, earnings, summaries, sector movers and link news free for all Indian users. But the real story, well, it can now talk directly to your Zerodha portfolio through Model Context Protocol, MCP, a secure read-only bridge for AI tools to personalize financial insights. In an exclusive to AIM, Zerodha CTO Kailash Nad confirmed there's no formal collaboration with Perplexity, but that Kite MCP has been live for months. MCP is an open standard, any AI assistant, perplexity included, can use it to securely access authorized portfolio data via Kite's two-factor authentication. Until now, AI assistants could only answer generic market questions. With MCP, perplexity can analyze your actual holdings, winners, losers, and sector allocations, show real-time prices for your own stocks, Summarize market news affecting your portfolio. Group futures and options positions by underlying and calculate net delta. Backseat strategies based on your portfolio composition. All with strict security. Credentials never pass through the AI and most actions are read-only. Good till date orders are the exception and even then execution is deliberate, not automated. And this comes just weeks after Airtel gave 360 million customers one year of Perplexity Pro for free. A distribution play that pushed it above ChatGPT to become India's number one iOS app. Now, with MCP integration, those same users can get context-aware answers based on their own investments. Helping us navigate, shed light on this development is our guest, Rahul Mathur, founder of BeamaPay, fintech innovator and one of the sharpest product minds in India's startup ecosystem. Rahul's work sits at the intersection of finance, insurance and cutting-edge technology. He's built tools that simply financial products for millions. And now he's exploring how AI can directly integrate with real portfolios through the model context protocol. He's known for turning complex financial and technical ideas into intuitive, usable products, whether it's building scalable fintech platforms, decoding the future of AI in investing, or pushing for product-led growth in India. Rahul is someone who's not just watching the change, he's building it. A big warm welcome to you, Rahul. All right, so uh, right off the bat, Rahul, uh, you know, you, you had mentioned that your very first experience with perplexity finance involved building a future and option strategy with about a 25 lakh corpus. So my right. question is, what was the process like and how different was it from your usual way of structuring trades? And also, I would really like for you to shed light on the entire thought process of perplexity and the MCB. Yeah, okay. So, like a lot of your viewers, I am a long-only equities investor. Mm -hmm. I have a small part of my corpus that I use to invest in trading equity positions. I've mm -hmm. never done an FNO, uh, an FNO trade before. Mm -hmm. So I figured when Perplexity Finance launched India stocks, it's a thing I've been tracking for a while because they launched US stocks last year, crypto two months back. I said, mm -hmm. why don't I see how smart Perplexity is with constructing an FNO strategy for me? Mm -hmm. And like a lot of people, I tried to integrate the Zerodha Kite MCP server with mm -hmm. Perplexity. But Perplexity doesn't support remote MCP servers as of today. So I said, okay, if it cannot get my portfolio, let me try to give it as much context on my portfolio mm -hmm. and see what FNO strategy it comes up with. So I told it I have 25 lakh. These are some of my sector preferences. I have a high risk tolerance. Mm -hmm. Now it came back to me and it made an, uh, an FNO suggestion to go and buy a 2 lakh lot 
in a company called Diamond Power, mm-hmm. and your viewers who are very close to the FNO ecosystem mm-hmm. will know that the minimum lot size is actually closer to five lakh rupees if you do a covered call option, mm-hmm. and companies like Diamond Power are not even on the FNO list. Mm-hmm. So my first experiment with using Publicity Finance to create an FNO strategy was not up to the mark. but i was still extremely impressed by the fact that when i asked it follow up questions it very quickly picked up the fact that it was making a wrong recommendation to me and went back and corrected it but when i Thanks asked fully because that's most important yeah. rahul i think yeah we need to yeah. highlight that bit yeah yes yes and in fact uh, you had rightly said that the kite mcp server from zerodha only allows you to execute gtt hmm. orders Mm-hmm. and this is only when you as an individual use the two factor authentication to approve the trade mm-hmm. so even my thought process behind trying perplexity finance here was not to create an ai engine to do fno trades or equity trades for me it was more to try to see whether i could get a research copilot see mm-hmm. there is a large group of retail investors like me and my friends who are active on x who follow accounts who read all the brokerage reports that come out mm. because we believe that we can extract some alpha and mm. beat the professional money managers mm. and when you go into the blog post which kailash and the team at zeroda had written on 20th of may you will actually see a lot of comments from users asking that when will we get support for perplexity today if you were to use claude which is another alternative to perplexity and chat gpt it will work flawlessly because claude has the support for a remote mcp server mm-hmm. but perplexity finance interface is a lot more user friendly so mm-hmm. if you're if you today open up perplexity finance it feels like the ui that you get on a stock broking app you mm-hmm. have price charts you have the ability to create a watch list you can create price alerts you can check how the indices are moving it feels like a place where you would go to ask finance questions versus something like chat gpt where you come and ask generic questions like how mm-hmm. do i solve my stomach mm-hmm. upset or where do i get some information uh, but i so, hope your stomach is not upset i am perfectly fine thank you yes good to know and and you know very interestingly in the us the equivalent to zerodha which is robin hood at the start of this year launched an ai research copilot for investing mm-hmm. called cortex and i was actually very keen to see whether i could use the the, the zerodha mcp server with perplexity finance to create some version of cortex it's not possible right now but i really foresee a future in the next couple of months where one or more of the stock brokers will work deeply with perplexity claude chat gpt or another mm-hmm. answer engine and actually mm-hmm. launch an ai investing copilot for retail investors like you i and the listeners fair enough i uh, before actually rahul uh, you mentioned two things uh, before i get into the missing mcp bridge i think it's it's yep. it's uh, pertinent for me to actually go ahead and ask you those two follow ups you mentioned two things one is the fact that you know there is a very core group that you have uh, who are very constantly uh, you know uh, monitoring what is going on in the world of trade all of that and and the fact that that is uh, somebody which is who is coming from an informed place i want okay. to ask you this how about somebody who is well a novice who is excited who wants to get into a situation but uh, well is uh, a little let's say circumspect uh, would you would you suggest that perplexity finance uh, could be a place uh, uh, to start off with given the fact that it is maybe safe and the guardrails are there or things like that i just felt that it 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 was warranted for me to uh, speak with you about this before i get yeah. into the uh, mcp bridge yeah yeah so look i don't consider myself a professional trader at all but i mm-hmm. think if you're someone who does equities only part time and you're just curious about public market investing mm-hmm. you should actually go to a financial advisor but if you want to take a small part of your corpus sure, just sure. to play around just to see how things are you mm-hmm. could use perplexity finance as a place to ask questions sure. not a place where you should be making your decisions so mm-hmm. if you want to ask the basics of a business like a suzlon energy which is a renewable energy business mm-hmm. you could ask perplexity finance to explain the financials to you walk you through the history of the company do a competitor analysis or benchmarking 
So this is not a substitute for decision making, which you as the individual have to make ultimately, but it is definitely a co-pilot to help you with your research and your learning process. So if you're looking at equity trading as a way to understand businesses and business models, then I think perplexity finance is a very safe space for you to go and ask questions because mm-hmm. you can fact check it with the links that it shares along with all of its responses. So you feel that it, it's a, it's a good place to start. Well, that's 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 a fairly informative, and 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 thank you for that, Raul. But of course, now uh, I I wanted to actually get into that uh, entire discussion about the competitive urgency. You've even suggested that if if you were at Grow, for example, you'd prioritize yeah. uh, perplexity finance integration immediately. What makes yeah. this integration such a game changer that you'd actually treat it as a drop everything project? Yeah, I think the the answer to this lies in a power user segment, which is not people like me or people like you. But there mm-hmm. are some retail retail F and O traders who will put up to a crore plus per day in covered and uncovered positions. Sure, this is also that archetype that is very active on social media, mm-hmm. that is very vocal. It's the kind of person who will reply to a zero that technical blog with very detailed feedback. And Mm. if you lose this customer base, that FNO volume churns to another competitor and FNO Mm. tends to be a very profitable segment of the market. Mm. You cannot make as much money on the institutional FNO because they tend to use proprietary services, you know, connectors, they get volume discounts. But the money is really made in the active medium to high volume retail FNO trader. Mm-hmm. And this group is the one that has been trying to hack around the Kite yeah. MC to mm-hmm. figure out this flawed integration. Mm-hmm. There is a lot of competition already for this trader archetype. In mm-hmm. the last two, three years, you've seen standalone companies like Dhan, which was started by the previous mm-hmm. Paytm Money CEO, mm-hmm. and Sahi, which was started by the former CTO of Swiggy, Dale Vas. And mm-hmm. they're going after exactly this archetype. So if I were in charge of the product roadmap at one of the legacy stockbrokers today, I would actually go to GitHub and first see whether some of my active customers have gone and hacked around to create an mm-hmm. MCP mm-hmm. server. So mm-hmm. Angel One actually has an open source MCP server on GitHub that mm-hmm. one of its own users has gone and built out there. I think the strategic importance of figuring out either a partnership with Perplexity Finance, Claude or ChatGPT Mm -hmm. to make the integration possible or launching an an AI co-pilot within your trading application is necessary because this this user base of theirs will want to come onto, onto a platform that offers this service because they believe that AI is going to give them alpha. Fair enough. Uh, of course, uh, in terms of um, in terms of all of the responses that you had received, uh, uh, how does that make you uh, make you feel? And and what would be your reaction yeah. in terms of all of the comments which are coming in? Yes. Uh, do you believe yes. that people have yeah. uh, the appetite and and they are excited about this new development that has taken place? Yeah. Uh, I'd I'd yeah. love your insight on that. Yeah. So with with all new things, that there were just two polar divides in the comment. Hmm. One type of commenter said that. You should not let AI touch my portfolio because this is the archetype that is worried that this Mm. AI system will get control to execute trades on their behalf, which like Mm. you had said in the introduction is Mm -hmm. very far from the truth, right? These AI integrations today are only to advise you and Mm. only with your permission for certain sets of trades they can execute. Mm. There was another archetype, which is exactly this high volume, high activity, semi-professional FNO trader who is very excited about this because Mm. they are constantly looking for new ways to get insights or signal. And Mm. for them, they have seen how these quants at high frequency trading firms, even at a fresher level, are making Mm. a crore plus a year in salary. They've seen Jane Street, as per SEBI's research, come out with 40,000 crore of profit from FNO trading in the last two and a half years. So this allure of making a little extra money by unlocking the alpha from AI is what is getting them most excited about these MCP integrations and AI co-pilots for trading. Interesting. All right. So Rahul, uh, in conclusion, um, I just wanted to ask you something which 
uh, would, would help us to obviously have a way better insight. Uh, also, because I, I first want to, of course, thank you for shedding so much of uh, light and knowledge on this. It is new for all of us. So uh, yeah. it, it helps when somebody who is uh, such a brilliant expert as yourself actually is navigating this for us and making it easier and making it uh, fairly consumable in a big way, chewable. But would it be correct for me to say that uh, perplexity has, uh, is, is, is something which will help you per se, as in Rahul Mathur, in terms of the fact that you are no longer going to be busy with uh, switching tabs and, and uh, you know, going into those long loops of uh, trying to understand what the market is looking like and, and those huge amounts of research that you have to do. Do you believe that that is something which has been cut back in a big way for you with this new uh, uh, development coming through? Yeah, definitely. So I had actually tried Perplexity for the first time because the pro subscription came free with Airtel. Mm. I've been a long time chat GPT user and I actually yeah. use chat GPT to upload reports and balance sheets of companies to get insights. What I find very interesting about perplexity finance is that it is fine tuned for finance use cases. So the responses you get make it feel like there's someone who's understood finance that's replying to you. And nice. it also has the right user interface for someone like me who's ultimately looking to make a decision whether or not to invest. So mm -hmm. in that sense, I do actually for the first time see myself opening perplexity because of perplexity finance at least once a day which was not the case a month ago when I first sure. got the pro subscription. Sure. Sure. So that's a, that's a, uh, that's a huge development, Rahul. I yeah. really wanted to thank you, Rahul, uh, thank you. for your time. And it's been a true pleasure. We'll of course keep coming back to you again and again, as we keep moving along with this development, because I think it is fairly dynamic and it's yeah. only going to get for exciting as we keep moving along in the days and the weeks to come. And we're going to come back and keep picking your brain. You please take Thank care you. of yourself. And it was a pleasure as always to speak with you. Rahul. Thank you so much for being on take the show. Care. See you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. That, of course, was Rahul Mathur. Yes, that brilliant mind, which has actually simplified a lot of these factors for us and uh, has given us context uh, with of this new development. I believe what I could understand and the takeaways that I had was the fact that he is saying that not to trust it completely. Uh, as, as of right now, it is not something which is going to ensure that you're going to get into uh, all of your future and options portfolio, trying to make decisions based on those. But perplexity finance for sure will help you and point you in the right direction. And of course, Perplexity recently introduced the Comet browser, currently available for all Perplexity Pro users in the US and is in rollout phase for the rest of the world. Interestingly, Perplexity is bidding for Google Chrome for $34.5 billion. And guess what? India's very own Poch AI is making a $50 billion unsolicited offer to buy both Perplexity and Google Chrome. Trust me, they are pushing, sorry, pushing their luck. This is Front Page by AIM TV. You know what to do. Like, share, subscribe. And always remember, think AI, think AIM, and think perplexity.